A Correspondent Candid with 60 Minutes, Bob Simon. Magnus Carlsen is the top chess player in the world. He's 21 years old. Superhuman is about as good a word as I can find. I can imagine what it's like to be a, a, a good tennis player. I can imagine what it's like to be a good skier. Um, what he does is just unfathomable. Most of the time, I know what to do. I don't have to figure it out. <laughs> I don't have to sit there, calculate for 45 minutes, an hour, to, to know what the right move. I just, usually I can just feel it immediately. If you know immediately, why do you sit there for a half hour? We've been watching you for a week and you're sitting there until we're watching the paint dry. Well, because I have to, you know, verify my opinion, see that I haven't missed anything. But a lot of the time it's fairly useless because I know what I'm going to do and then I sit there for, for a long time and I, I do what I, I immediately wanted to do. He's called the Mozart of chess, and I can see it. You couldn't understand how Mozart did what he did. It, it came from another world. And Magnus Carlsen is doing things that no human being I've met before can do. At one point, he played 10 chess players at the same time, looking the other way, so he couldn't see the board. I mean, just think about it. 10 chess boards that he has in his mind, every second. Doesn't lose track of what's happening on the boards and what he needs to do next. Can you explain what was going on in your head? Really, I was just focusing, focusing on trying to remember the positions. And from time to time, I had to think a little bit to come up with a good move as well. Even he admits that it's, it's not easy. I would um, wonder where a certain piece is. And so I had to, you know, replay the game in my, in my head from, from the very beginning. How long did it take you to do that? I don't know, half a minute or something. It will be interesting to try like 20 people sometimes. Have you ever done that? No, 10 is the most I've done. And you, but you'd like to try more. It would, would be fun. I really liked him. Um, there is not a false bone in his mind or in his body. Totally honest. Um, he wouldn't know how to deceive, which is interesting because chess is all about deception. But when he's away from the chessboard, um, you know that when you ask him a question, he's going to answer honestly. So what are you doing for the rest of the day? I'm preparing for the next game. He had a day off. He'd been in London before, but told us he'd never seen the sights. We took him up onto this, this, it's a giant Ferris wheel that overlooks London, and it's right on the south side of the Thames, so you can see the Houses of Parliament, Big Ben. We were up in the London Eye for, I guess, 45 minutes or so. He didn't look out the window. Just, he wasn't interested. Do you ever stop thinking about chess? Sometimes, but uh, right now I was actually thinking about chess. And you were but, thinking about specific moves? Or? Yeah, I was thinking about something specific in my preparation for my game tomorrow. Magnus told us that he can remember 10,000 games that have been played in the past. He's got them in his mind. Okay. So we set up a board. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> this is um, Carlson Kasparov from uh, Reykjavik, 2004. And you were um, I was, old? I was 13 years old. Mm -hmm. It's hard to surprise this guy. Uh, I was trying to surprise him from the day we met. Why were you trying to surprise him? Just for the hell of it. 